Hey, hey, y'all. It's Michelle from Monkey's Creations. Come on in and say hey. And I will get y'all pulled up so I can see your comments. <clears throat> there we go. I gotcha. Sorry, I had a new setup here. But I'm still trying to get get it together. <laughs> so good morning. I am Michelle from Monkey's Creations. So come on in and say hey. Good morning. So we are making a witch today. So when I when I put this kit together last year, you know, we had all the supplies that we could ever want. This year, as I was trying to put this kit together, the supplies were very limited. Um, so I was still able to put it together, but not with what I wanted. But it's still going to be super cute. Um, good morning, y'all. Um, you're, you're still going to get your, your boards, your zip ties, your tutu, your hat. Um, your witch legs, your ribbon, you're still getting all the good things. Um, good morning, y'all. Um, the only thing that I really wanted was the witch legs that I had last year for this kit. But you can't find them, y'all. So what do we do? We adapt, we move on, and we figure it out. So what I was able to do was order cases of the Dollar Tree witch legs. Um... So, if you have a Dollar Tree by you, you can go grab these legs, grab you several pair, because these are also what I use to make the spider, um, and we will make another one of those this year as well. What's up, what's up? Um, so, if you have a Dollar Tree, go grab this, um, especially for the spider that we're going to be making, maybe this week or next week. Um, so these are always fun. You never know what you can use these for. Um, so go grab them. This kit is available on the website now. You're a newcomer? Well, welcome, Betty. I'm Michelle from Monkey's Creations. So if you have any questions, please let me know. Um, so w this is the tutu. Now, of course, mine's all messed up. <laughs> Let's see if I can straighten it up here. So this is the tutu that will go across the bottom of our witch. Super cute. Good morning, y'all. So you get this tutu in your kit um, as well. So what we're going to do is I'm going to bring y'all down and... Now, you, the kit will either come with the green and black, the orange and black, or the purple and black, okay? So, you'll get either one of those. Um, what we're going to do is, because we have to adapt, I'm going to bring you all down. Good morning. My vision is a little off not sure what's going on but I'm trying to read Jill's comments um, so if you have a question and I don't get to it please ask it again um, so I'm gonna bring you down and I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do these legs now you can you can just leave them as is and put them on the bottom of the board however you want to do that but what I'm gonna do is Good morning, y'all. And I'm going to show you the layout in a minute. Because this is where those templates really come in handy. So I'm just going to, when, if you get this kit, it comes with a ring and a right and a left. Okay? So all I'm going to do is actually cut it off of the ring. Just like that. Good morning, y'all. Now, I do save these rings because you never know where you can use them. So, I do save them. Um, but let me, I was talking about the template. So, this is where the templates really come in handy. 
because what I was able to do is go grab my template packet where I have all my templates and just pull it out because I've already marked where everything goes, where every piece of mesh goes, where the legs go, where the tutu's gonna go, where the hat's gonna go. Um, so I will post this um, after the live. I will post it in the comments so that you can have this um, for, for yours. Um, but these are always a great idea. I have a whole folder of my templates because I'm not going to remember what I did last year and where I put everything, but these make it so easy. I don't know how you get those closed captions off. Um, sorry, I guess I need to bring this a little closer because I'm having a really hard time reading the comments. Thank you for floating my boat. So what I'm going to do is with the legs, I cut them off of the, um, hey, hey, you saved your template, awesome. So I have wire, so if you want to get your, be able to move your legs, get you some wire, um, get you a, a, a hanger, a metal clothes hanger, um, whatever you have that's bendable, I got this at... I think I got this at Hobby Lobby and it does not tell me what gauge, it just says aluminum craft wire. Um, so you can get this anywhere, um, but I use it for the spider legs, I'm going to use it for these witch legs because I do want to be able to bend my legs. Um, and I grabbed some polyfill y'all. So I'm going to stuff, where do you get the template? You get the template from the Unique in the Creek. Um, website. So if you click on the large flower board, um, you'll see the template down below it. If you're talking about this template that we're doing the witch, I will post it after this live in the comments. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this polyfill and I'm going to stuff these legs, y'all. I'm going to stuff them. Now these holes are a little bit small, but just work with it, y'all, and it will it will go down. So we're just going to stuff these and then I'm going to stick the wire down in them to make them bendable. Hey, hey. Sorry, I lost part of my my leg. There we go. <laughs> I had to fish it back out. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, good morning. Just gonna stick a little bit more in there. We are making the witch. The cute witch. All right. And then I'm just gonna take my wire, and I think I cut this at 12 inches, however long you want to cut it. Um, it's, it's up to you, and I'm just going to stick it right down in there, kind of fish it through, just like that. So now, our legs are bendable, okay? Good morning. So we're going to do the other one really quick. Now, like I said, it does come with a right and a left, I think. I guess both of these go the same way. I guess she's walking, y'all. She's walking. <laughs> Good morning. So let's get this other leg stuffed real quick. I'm going to do this and make it easier on myself. Uh, 
Um, I do not sell the boards by themselves. I only sell them in the kits. Um, if you want boards, there is a post pinned at the top of my page. Um, you can click on my link, take it to Unique in the Creek, um, get your boards, um, and then in the discount code, put CREATE, all capital C-R-E-A-T-E, -E, and you'll save 10%. And the kit is on my website. You can go to monkeyscreations.com and you will find all the kits, all the wreath attachments, finished wreaths, whatever you need, it will all be there. Monkeyscreations.com. All right, so we're gonna fish our last wire through. Just be gentle with it. You don't want it to poke out the other, the back side of the, the leg here. All right. So there we go. Oh, let's get the wire to the back. Yeah, I'm not really worried about having two of the same ones. Doesn't bother me. They're still going to be cute. I've missed y'all too. I'm sorry. I've been kind of MIA. I've just been MIA. <laughs> All right, so our legs are done. What we can do is go ahead and... Take a zip tie and close them up. We'll close them up again when we put them on the board. But if you just want to make sure that nothing, that your wire, nothing's gonna gonna move, go ahead and zip tie them. Just like that. Thank you for floating my boat. I will tell y'all that if my phone rings, Amber is on her way to surgery now. Um, again, so if my phone rings and it is them, I will end this live. Um, but I will come right back, I promise. Okay? But just so you know. So I'm a little out of sorts today. Yep, you can put her on a broom as well. Um... Where is my... All right, give me two seconds, y'all. Two seconds. I've been cleaning my table and have supplies everywhere, so... All right, and then we'll just clip that off. Just like that. So our legs are ready to go on our board, okay? And this polyfill, you can get anywhere. Um, I think I got this at Hobby Lobby for like three bucks. Um, how do we get the kit? The kit is on my website at monkeyscreations.com. Um, that's all right. <laughs> just yell at me I'll see it <laughs> I know that's why I was like I'm just I just need to stay busy today because I really want to be in Atlanta but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna work my butt off today and hoping to get through so for the board um, I showed y'all the template so right here is our top. The hat will go right here, okay? Um, I did every every set of holes um, on row two and three, and then four I did every other, and then five I did every other. Um, and then for the extra pieces, to kind of help support that hat, I added the extra two pieces here, okay? So you will get between 20, 
three and 25 cuts on your roll of mesh, okay? Um, so I've cut these at 15 inches to ensure that I do have enough for every one of my holes. Um, I have already put my zip ties in and left them open because we will be doing a cruffle just so she can kind of get some curls in her hair and all that good stuff. So all you're going to do is get a couple clips. The t-shirt I got at Unique in the Creek. So we're just going to curl it up. I just put one curl just like that. You can clip it. Put your curl on the other side and then just scrunch from one end to the other. <laughs> you are having withdrawals. I'm sorry. I have been kind of MIA these days. And then we're just going to zip them in. And then as we get others in, it will push them up and it'll look like she has curls everywhere. Right? Good morning, y'all. You wouldn't mind floating my boat. I'd appreciate it. So we're just going to fill in all of these zip ties. Got a delivery. <laughs> Thanks, y'all. The poor thing is scared to death. I know. Good morning. And these are cut at 15 inches. If you keep them at 15 inches, you will not have to um, open up another roll. Um, can we purchase the wreaths you make? Absolutely. Um, I'm a little behind on posting my wreaths. Um, I'm trying to get it together, y'all. But all of my wreaths as well are on my monkeyscreations.com website. So you can go check them out there. If you've seen something I've made and I don't have it listed, message me <laughs> and I can get it listed for you. You're waiting on your mystery box. Good morning. What's everybody been up to? Hello from Alabama. Thank you for floating my boat. You can't afford those boxes. <laughs> This is just regular black deco mesh. Yes, 15 inches. What I cut them at? <clears throat> I know it looks like you can still see the board, and you can, but trust me, when it's over, you will not see the board. To avoid doing laundry. <laughs> oh. This 
So to make myself happy yesterday, I went and ordered some stuff on <laughs> on Amazon. <laughs> so I've got that. I was so tired of seeing all the cords on the other side of the table, and so I got myself a um, one of the 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 towers that have the USB ports and the the regular plugins. So I can plug in like eight. Um, eight pieces of equipment and I have my USB ports and so I'm so excited. All my cords and everything are, are nice. I was afraid I was going to start a fire, y'all. Because I would just stack things on top of my power cord. <laughs> You've got a meeting starting soon. Will you answer on the UITC boards? Can I order from you? No, you can't, um, Stacy. But there is a pinned post at the top of my page where you can order them. Uh, just click on that link and then in the discount code, put CREATE, all capital C-R-E-A-T-E, -E, and you'll save 10%. But I only sell the boards um, with my kits. You have three? Oh my God, I love them. But of course, mine had to, look, mine had to be, um, I don't know if you can see it. Mine had to be teal and black. There it is. So I got the USB, the plugins. It's so cute, y'all. And then I got, <laughs> so they make these things for the fridge that you can slide onto the trays of the fridge and they're like little cubbies. So I got some of those as well, hoping that I can slide them on my table and then pull them out and get my tools, my zip ties. So I'm gonna see how those work too. So I'm excited to get those today. <laughs> Maybe I can get some more stuff off my table. I know, isn't it cute? Of course they had black and gray and but I had to I had to get the teal. I got the one that has the phone holder at the top. Oh, I did see that. But um it wasn't pretty like the teal. So I had to go with the teal. <laughs> Hello. I, yeah, I love it because the, well, the lights run off of a USB and not a plug, so I had to get something with the USBs, so that was perfect. Hello, hello. It is, Sheila. Oh my God, I thought the table would be perfect size and I'd have tons of room and yeah, it's not shaping up that way. What's what called, Robin? It's called a, a tower. It's called a, 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 a power, a, I don't even know. I got it. I can show y'all because I still have the box. Remind me at the end of the live and I'll grab the box. Um, and I got it from Amazon. I think I just pulled up towers or plug-in towers or something. I don't know. Hello, hello. All right, so we are on. We're done really with this row because these two are going to be just to really hold up that hat a little bit. It was retail therapy. Definitely. Because y'all, I love to shop. <laughs> and I'm really, I honestly am really organized in every aspect of my life except my craft room. <laughs> so I'm trying. <laughs> It is a surge protector as well. So it has three, six, nine plugins and four USB ports. Hello. Okay, 
so we're done with that we're going to go on to the next row which is row three and we're going to keep filling in your credit cards are crying I don't I don't use credit cards y'all I don't I have one credit card that I use in case of emergency but I don't use credit cards so charging towers there you go Robin <laughs> you ordered yourself a new chair. I'm just bringing all of these out of my way. What's the shelf thing called? Um, Y'all... I don't know. I was just ordering. Like, I was, I was, I, honestly, I was so depressed yesterday that I just kept ordering and ordering. So, I don't know. But I'll let you know when it comes in. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it's, it's a, if you pull up, I'm thinking maybe pull up, um, but I don't even know if it's going to work. So, I don't want y'all to go buying them and it not, will not work. Um, but it's called a refrigerator shelf or something like that. But I thought it would be perfect just to, to slide over my table and and get more things off my table. <laughs> oh, goodness. It's got a massage and heat. Ew. What size box do you ship when the wreath is on a character board? You can usually, I don't, y'all, I usually don't do character boards except the clown. Um, and for that one, I honest, I just use a 24, 24, 4, 6, or usually I buy the 7 inch um, because I can cut them down and they're cheaper. So if you... If you're looking to buy the 24-24-6 versus the 24-24-7, you'll save like $10 to $12, um, which is what I do. Um, and then I just cut them down to either 4 or 6, whatever I need, um, and save money on a box. But some of these you can probably get in a 22-22. Usually I use 22-22-8 because y'all know me and my bows and everything. I usually can't make a wreath that'll fit between two doors. Make some baskets with hand... Oh, really? There you go, Helen. It's something like that. Hello, hello. So you can do this with ruffles too. Whatever. I just like like I like my wood just to have curly hair. You're so welcome. I have used them on cloth. Oh, awesome. Yeah, 22, 22, 8 is what I normally buy in that size. You're gonna have to watch a replay. Well, thanks for popping in and saying hey. It will be available on YouTube right after the live. I will get it uploaded. Everything's over in Texas. That's right. Even some people's attitudes. <laughs> So that is it. So let's cut these off. Good morning.
Amazon had 20, 24 for 18. Yeah, I'd never get anything in a 20, 20 by 4. <laughs> if you can, you're doing good. Not me. <laughs> okay, so on to the next row. We're almost done with this part, y'all. Sorry, I need a drink. Start. I did the other day. I looked and I didn't see any. Because you're addicted to them. Now I need a way to play. Oh. <laughs> I, I store mine on either on the wall or I have um, a clothes rack that has the bar at the top and then a bar at the bottom. Um. So that's what I store mine on until they sell, usually. Yes, I do have a pattern for this, and I will post it after the live. On, on this live, I'll post it, okay? To see if they're out there. Maybe I'll check on Amazon. <laughs> Amazon has everything, y'all. Hey, hey. What's up, what's up? You only do it as a hobby? See how it's filling in? Love it. I'm okay. How are you? Um, I get my boxes from Amazon. You know, I looked at Uline. Uline is so expensive for shipping. Um, and I've checked a couple other places out. And really, Amazon has the best prices. And it's, you know, free shipping. So... Food delivery, what? It is easy. <laughs> oh, you only need one box, okay. Go to, maybe go to, I know there are shipping supplies. We have them everywhere. It's called Box It. Um, and they sell boxes individual. You can maybe try there. All right, we've got the two left in the sauna. It doesn't have one. What? Yeah, that's why I just order from Amazon. Because even with with all the others that I've found, it's still cheaper for me to order on Amazon. And I I, I research. Trust me, I research. <laughs> We're making a witch. A cute witch, not a scary witch. Hello. It doesn't have a name. It's bad branding, but you can get them on Amazon, <laughs> of course. Of course, of course. Walmart does have boxes. You'd have to cut them down. Um, and I'm just... I'm not going to take the time to cut down a box. Thank you for floating my boat. Alright. So we've 
get the last one for her hair going in. Isn't that cute? Can y'all see where I'm going? Can you see my vision? All right, so her hat's gonna go here. So, to just kind of support the hat a little bit, we're gonna use the extra pieces, like I said. Now I happen to have three extra pieces, which is probably not gonna happen. Um, you should really only have two. Um, I know, less than a month, I'm so, I so need my peeps. So I'm going to put one here and one here, and I do have it on the template, so when you see the template, you'll understand what I'm doing. Get that out of my way. Oh no, you'll be safe. I did see some pictures and it's just absolutely horrible. Horrible. That's awesome. I need an Amazon. <laughs> No, I don't really. No, I don't heat seal these um, because you don't see the cut edges, so I'm not going to take the extra time um, to heat seal them. Terry, so there was a time, like you really shouldn't say like, follow, and share on Facebook because Facebook doesn't really like it. So I came up with a saying float my boat so that y'all would y'all would know what I was asking um, to share the live and, and those kinds of things so I wouldn't get in trouble with Facebook. So that's what it means. <laughs> All right, so I know that looks odd. But this will allow the hat to set up. Okay. Okay, so that part is done. So you're going to get this whole roll of ribbon. Okay, so I just made a very simple bow. And on my hat, I'm going to find the back. So the seam, where's the seam? There's the seam. So I'm going to use that as my back. So this is going to be my front. And all I'm going to do is, I don't know where my all went. Let me see. Yep, sprinkle the love, same thing. I just like float my boat. So I'm just going to put two tiny holes. Maybe this will go through it. That worked. So anything you have, just put two. Sorry, I'm shaking, y'all. I haven't eaten today. Um, two little holes. And I'm going to run my pipe cleaner right through those holes. And attach it to the hat. Oh, I need to put my bow the right way. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so I just fed it right through there, and we're just going to attach it.
just like that. So it'll kind of sit like that. But before we do that, I am going to go ahead and attach the legs. So if you look at the template, it shows you exactly where I put the mesh, where I'm going to put the legs, and where I'm going to put the tutu. Okay? Remember, tutu, or tutu, remember, tool does not like mesh. So be very careful <laughs> when you add your tutu. Okay? So I am going to go ahead and our legs are going to go right here. Let me make sure that I'm putting them on the right way. Okay, so I'm going to take, I keep moving everything in my, in my, uh, And we're just going to feed our zip tie right through there. this one oh did I yeah I got them on the right way <laughs> yeah. Sheila I don't know where my weight bag went <laughs> It's here somewhere. So there's her legs. We will go ahead and get our hat on. And then we'll put the tutu. Isn't she cute? Just trying to all right, so we're gonna take and put our two holes. each side that we can run the zip tie right through. Or you can use a pipe cleaner, whatever you want to use. So just like that.
uh, struggling. No, you don't need to stuff the hat. It will stay. You can if you want. But I've never had to stuff mine. See? It'll stay. It'll stay up. Let's get our tails clipped. And get them curled up out of our way. And we can do this too, too, y'all. Okay. So, we are... mesh down and so we're gonna put the tutu from here to here and it's all on the template that I'll provide y'all okay so take your tutu see it's already got my cousin And just run your zip tie through the tutu. And through your board. This is why I say save the tutu for last. If it does stick, just be gentle with it. Tuck it right up underneath her hair. Take the other end and we're gonna do the same thing. Zip tie. the other side. Isn't she cute? under that hair. And then just fix her too too. If you think the tutu's too long, you can always trim it down a little bit. This was the length that I really liked. Oh, 
Uh, Turn your ribbon a little bit. Get that bow fixed up. And then you can put a spider or you could, you know, dress this up even more however you want to do it. I may put a big spider. I thought I had a spider right here. So if you have a spider, no, I wouldn't I wouldn't use black. I'd use black or purple or orange or that lime green. And you could add a big spider right there. Whatever you wanted to do. So that's it. This is your witch kit. Any questions? Too cute. I didn't show how to make the tutu. <laughs> I didn't. So this kit is available on my website. The glitted centers, most of them, I still have on the website. A lot of them have already sold out again. Um, I had these made. I had them made just for the, uh, just for this kit. Yeah, Dollar Tree does have the bling spiders. Um, and I did, <laughs> I did buy the spiders for this um, to add to the kit. Um, but y'all know I don't read descriptions and the spiders are like this big. They're huge. So I may throw them in there and you can do whatever you want with them, but I didn't add them to the kit. <laughs> um, I believe the kit is 52. 52 plus shipping. And the tutu does already come made. Absolutely. Sorry, our pool guy's pulling up. Yep, so you get you get the tutu, you get the legs, you get the 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 mesh, the hat, the the ribbon, um, you get the board and you get your zip ties. So you get everything that you see right here. It all comes in the kit. So just know that the legs you could get green, orange, or purple. Okay, that's the only the only thing. If you have a, a request for a specific color, put it in there um, in the notes and I'll do my best to, to make sure you get what you want. You're welcome. Dang, that was fast. That wasn't even an hour, y'all. I was on it. <laughs> Okay, any questions at all? Here is a template if you want to screenshot it really quick. And I will post it on the page as well. I stuffed my legs, but your legs do not come stuffed. So you can stuff them if you want. Um, can you make the bow quickly? You want me to show you how to make the bow? I can show you real quick how to make a bow. Is that what you're asking? Figure out where to put this thing. Thank 
things. Oh, you're so welcome. I'll bring y'all back down and I'll just show you the simple bow that I did there. Using the easy bow. It's um, monkeyscreations.com, all lowercase. Okay, so I went, y'all know I like my big old tails, the whole length of the board as my tail. Okay, once you get it in here, you're going to twist it. Okay, so up at the top, you see the bad side, not the bad side, but the wrong side of the ribbon. Okay, bring it out. I went with a six inch loop. Okay, so my ribbon is back here in the middle. You're gonna twist it again so that you get the wrong side up again. Bring it back, twist. I'm still at the six. I did two at the six. You can do it however you like. The six again, twisting it, bring it back over. Twist, so I've got two loops on each side at six inches. This next one, I brought it down to the five. So we're doing five inches. going to do two on each side. Second one is still at the five inches. Okay. Now our next loop I did at the four inches. So bring it down, and I just did one loop at the four. Okay. Now this one, you do not have to twist because this is our end. So I just bring it right down in there. Cut it off. We've made two bows and I still have ribbon left. So you'll have plenty of ribbon to do another project. Grab my pipe cleaner. Run it right through that middle. Bring it up. Doggies in the ass. Somebody rang the doorbell. I must have got another delivery. <laughs> And then I twist my bow and not the pipe cleaner. That way it gets good and tight. And that's it. If you wanna make a big fuller bow, you can do that. You can make it really simple and just put a, you know, a loop on each side. Whatever you want and then just fluff them up. And then get your tails curled. You can do the big curls like I do, or just work that ribbon and get one long good curl on that tail, however you want to do it. So there you go.
very simple one ribbon bow. Now I got glitter everywhere. <laughs> All right, any other questions? You're welcome. All right, well, I am out of here. Y'all have a great day. Um, if you do buy this kit, they will ship tomorrow. Um, I do have everything in um, to get these shipped out to you. So, Well, Jan Brown Cook, you're in trouble. You're so welcome. Can you see it again? No way. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Y'all have a great day. If you need anything, message me. I'll get to you. And um, thank you. Thank you. You're so welcome. All right. I'm out of here. Bye, y'all.